Hey YouTube, in this video we'll be going over how to properly clean your dirt bike to make it look factory fresh and be ready for the next ride. So to wash your bike appropriately, I like to use products from Slick. Uh, the first thing I use is the off-road wash with a foam cannon. And then I have, once all of that is off and completely clean, I use a degreaser from Slick. And then once the bike's completely dry, I use a shine protectorant. And then I also degrease the chain with WD-40 as well. And in the middle, we do have a chain cleaner that I use once I have the greaser on everything. What you have to do is remove the air filter and put an air box cover in there. Off. We've got this Yamaha air box cover. and nice and tight makes this completely waterproof or at least watertight and we'll put our air box cover back on next thing we do is we put our exhaust cover on the back so that we can make this nice and watertight from fmf just put that right in there as well so now we've got this all blocked up. All right, the next thing we got to do is take off the skid plate cover so that we can get in there and get all the mud out. mud down in there Ugh. now what I like to do to make sure that we can really get things clean is I really I, I, I tip the bike on its side on the stand against the handguard so that you can really get underneath the belly of this I do it on both sides From there we power up the I use a uh, Ryobi 2300 just electric power washer no big deal bought it at Home Depot it was a couple hundred bucks doesn't tear anything up first thing I do is actually just get the mud off before we get any cleaner on anything Now that that side's done, we have to pick up the bike, put it on a kickstand, and then put it down on the stand on the other side. Nice and clean. Now the next thing we're going to do is now that we got the bike pretty good, we're going to put a cannon on here 
and actually uh, a foam cannon and foam it up and then get the rest of the stuff off. Now one thing I like to do once it's all soaked up is I do take a really good brush and an SOS pad and I actually clean the aluminum. It gets all of the boot marks off. Clean some of the plastic too. Nice and clean. Yeah. You take a brush, go all the plastic and seats. Now that it's dripping really good, we'll actually uh, then power wash it off and then do the other side. So now we're gonna degrease the bike. I usually break this into thirds, the back end, the middle around the engine, and then the front. And when I'm doing the back, I actually do the chain at the same time. It really gets it cleaned out. Just get up in there, I get the wheels off. Done completely, gets everything off. The insides and outsides. I'll let this sit on for about five minutes. That's where I get the chain really tight. The chain all cleaned up. And do the other side as well. All right, this is a chain cleaner brush. I do both sides after I've got the degrees are on and before we've washed it off. Let's get it up under here. And just move the wheel to get all the good dirt out. Even though we power washed it, you can see all of the mud and, and grease and everything dripping down. So we do one side and we do the other side as well. We push down and get it really good in there. Alright, the degreaser's been on for about five minutes. We're just going to spray it off now and then move to the middle section.
to speed up the drying, I just use a standard, you know, 40 volt, or actually this is an 18 volt Ryobi blower. It just kind of blows everything off really fast. So once all the cleaning's done, you can see this thing looks brand new again. There's no muck, there's no grease, there's no tire film. Everything's nice and simple. We're gonna let it dry at this point in time. And after we get it done, we'll go ahead and put some degreaser on the, from a 10W40 on the chain. And then we'll, uh, we'll put the next piece on here, which is the shine protectant. Let's let it dry. So now that the bike is completely dry, um, what we do is now is brought it in the garage, it's up on the stand, and now we have a dry chain, which we're going to put WD-40 on it, just straight up, and let it continue to de de degrease and lubricate the chain, and when that evaporates, we'll put on the actual lubricant for, uh, that you would use for your chain. So, we'll do one last thing, so just kind of turn the wheel and let this get going in. I did put a, uh, a towel below it. And you'll see in a little bit, once this starts going through, you'll actually see some dirt and grime that even though we clean the chain outside with the degreaser and the power washer, there'll still be some, some left over. So just kind of turn this and let it get nice. I've got a towel below. This is it's catching all of the, uh, the residue. So we've done a full rotation at this point in time, and we're just letting it sink in. You can see down at the bottom, Stuff's dropping down. Some of it's greasy, some of it's dirty still. And if we come and we actually pull it back this way, you'll see some come down and got some dirt coming down the actual swing arm. But at this point, uh, everything's kind of getting cleaned up. Just kind of circle this around a little bit. And I'll actually wipe up the excess off of the rim and the sprocket. But uh, just cleaning that chain just a little bit further than what we did outside. And that is really the last step uh, in this process before we come and we start putting the, uh, the, the shine on. The last thing I do after we get done is I actually put on this shine and lubricant product from Slick Products. And I'll put it up underneath up here, get it all in here, put it all over the plastic. It actually puts a nice film over top of it so when you're out riding, the dirt and mud won't stick as much. And then I actually, I put it all over the tires as well. It actually moistens the rubber as well as makes it look like an armor all and your bike just pops. <sighs> and uh, that, is, that is all the products that I use for cleaning my bike from the shine at the end to the, uh, the bike wash in the beginning and, the, and the, um, the degreaser in the middle. And you can buy all of these products at Rocky Mountain ATV, that's where I do. I'm not sponsored, but that's actually where I get all of my products at. And that is how I clean my bike and keep it looking practically brand new. And you can see this just looks great after you get it on here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.